Guys, what's the crack? Happy Friday to you. Big on with Danny and Cindy here. Now yesterday the European bank got absolutely trolled online because on X now it's a free speech platform formerly known as Twitter but they do have community notes so that if you say something that's not quite true you'll get community notes under your tweet and the European Central Bank got absolutely slaughtered yesterday and that's what I talked to you guys about today because it's just pure comedy okay welcome to the channel my name is Danny if you're new here make sure you like and subscribe follow the page click follow click subscribe and uh, like this video and the algorithm will show you more of my videos I'm on the move here today as always uh, apologies if the quality of the video isn't up to some youtuber standards but uh, I just simply haven't time to sit down so I do like to try and share some of my knowledge I've ever I've learned in Bitcoin as I'm on the move um, when I'm driving so uh, yesterday I was actually on X when the European Central Bank released this tweet I literally was one of the first pairs people to see it because I seen the tweet and I was like no likes and there was only two comments under it and I was like what the hell is this puff piece it was saying Bitcoin has failed and I was just like this makes no sense then when I looked at how long it was since the tweet was actually put out it was literally like six seconds so I was like okay I'm pretty much one of the first people to actually uh, come across this tweet well as of today the tweet or as of yesterday uh, the tweet had reached over 7 million people I think so it's probably uh, up to 10 million today because it pretty much went viral and uh, what happened to the European Central Bank is they got community noted for all the mistruths in their article because it was full of mistruths. Now to me this is really exciting. This tells me that the European Central Bank are terrified of Bitcoin and rather than push people away from it, they actually put in a massive marketing campaign yesterday to teach people about Bitcoin. So the Euro has actually lost 99% of its value, 99 against Bitcoin. So to say that Bitcoin has failed, it's just like how, how have they come to this conclusion when it's the euro that has failed? The euro is absolutely failing and people who live their life on the euro standard, life is so difficult for them and it's only getting more difficult and in the next 10 and 15 years, unfortunately, it's going to get even more difficult. And then there's people like me and people like you guys who've been on this channel for a year or two or three or five, okay, and you just understand how to put yourself in a Bitcoin standard or a partial Bitcoin standard. And life's totally different than when you were on a euro standard because your life's getting easier. Your life's hopeful, your life's more abundant, okay? You can buy more for less. It's the opposite of everyone who's swallowing the propaganda of the European Central Bank, okay? Now remember the irony of this. The European Central Bank basically stole 50% of your wealth, okay, over the last five years. And that's because everything costs at least 50% more. Some stuff's gone up hundreds of percent, but I'm just being, I'm not being too hard on them and, say, and, and just saying that they stole half your wealth okay over the last five years and this isn't going to change unfortunately they're going to steal another half over the next 10 years and every 10 years they steal half another one of the pieces that they got community noted for was to say that bitcoin is only used for criminals and i've heard other bankers uh, say this and again it's just a narrative to keep your granny and your uncle and your brother who doesn't understand bitcoin out of bitcoin and say oh yeah yeah i was told in the newspaper headline that bitcoin is just for criminals however Bitcoin is the most transparent monetary protocol on the planet. Every single transaction on Bitcoin is verified for all of time. It can never be changed. Now, banks are paying billions in fines every year. It's just a cost of doing business to them, okay? For footing ledgers, for laundering money, for, you know, working with criminals. Some people might even say they are criminals. I certainly wouldn't, <laughs> okay? But uh, they pay hundreds of billions in fines every year for actually laundering money. And the amount of crime that happens on Bitcoin because it's an open officials protocol, it can be audited. Okay, so we can see the amount of crime that's happening on Bitcoin. And it's 0.02%. Okay, the amount of crime that's happening through our traditional means like the euro, okay, and the dollar is an order of magnitude higher. So Bitcoin crime is a nothing burger compared to the crime that happens. Um, on these other monetary protocols. Another thing that the European Central Bank was community noted on was Bitcoin is bad for the environment. And again, this was just a brainwashing campaign that was put out to keep retail people out of Bitcoin and tell them like, Bitcoin bad for the environment. If you actually really understand Bitcoin, you realize that Bitcoin is good for the environment and Bitcoin allows the build out of the green renewable system. Okay, it allows it's like an energy of last resort. It's an energy system you can switch on and switch off. So when the grid needs 
electricity you can literally just flick off Bitcoin mining so it allows you to overbuild the grid because to allow a grid to use renewables because renewable power source is intermittent the wind might not always blow the sun might not always be shining okay so you need to overbuild your grid now the problem the reason your electricity bill has gone up so much is because woke politicians decided okay we're going to do all this green stuff and uh, we're going to go green but they didn't realize all this stuff they didn't realize that we need to have a bitcoin mining infrastructure to actually allow us to successfully do this and that's why we don't have electricity now and that's why um the electricity bills for everyone has gone up so much now so the european central bank or community noted on that to actually tell them the truth that no bitcoin is good for the environment haven't you actually studied all the papers that are on this to show you that bitcoin is necessary to allow a build out for green renewable energy system so they actually got slaughtered and hammered their tweet went viral whoever is putting it out maybe they're secretly a bitcoiner and they're a genius marketer and they know <laughs> that if we put out nonsense pieces it's just going to market bitcoin more to people because it's like this european Central bank and using the euro is a system of control. You are forced to use it. You are forced to pay your taxes in it. You go to jail if you don't. Bitcoin is a vault. That's what's wrong here. I wonder why mid windows are fogging up. I turned off the old uh, aircon. But uh, Bitcoin is a fully voluntary system. No one's forced into Bitcoin. You can voluntarily decide to use Bitcoin. And when you do, and you study Bitcoin, you understand how to use it correctly for your family. Life becomes much more better. You're more positive, you've more free time, you've no worries about your future, okay? You're hopeful, you're enthusiastic, you're not negative, because once you're stuck in the Euro system, you're just like, life's getting harder and harder and harder, and I'm working harder for less, and it looks like it's only gonna get worse. In fact, how are my kids ever gonna do anything in their life? If you have kids, when you realize how, you know, their ability to own a home like you did, like, how does it happen? It's, unless they win the lottery, which is, they're not gonna, because uh, nobody does. Uh, or the majority of people who play the lottery don't so it's you know you, you can't hope for that but uh, that's why studying Bitcoin and realizing when you see the European Central Bank putting out propaganda and it's getting community noted and it's going viral and uh, thousands of people are tweeting about it and, and correcting them on all the nonsense and they simply maybe haven't studied Bitcoin or they have studied it and they're absolutely terrified okay because bitcoin gives you sovereignty it gives you control of your own life your own finances in your own time and nobody can steal your time because everything that happened since 2020 um since c19 was basically a central bank stole half your wealth and uh, they drove up the price of assets and they're never coming back down you're never going to pay euro 85 for a coffee again coffee is just now four euro and that's the way it is going forward so basically half your wealth was stolen and as we go through the next decade and stolen's probably a strong word for you if you're somebody who doesn't understand money or doesn't understand this stuff but uh, i just mean because they caused this inflation they caused the price of everything to double in price to triple in price to quadruple in price basically your money buys you half as much stuff or a quarter as much stuff so effectively your money was stolen and you just paid tax on your money and that's not right that's not fair okay my money in a bitcoin standard not stolen nobody can steal it from you because you can't print bitcoin this is the value of bitcoin this is why bitcoin was created it was created in 2008 in 2009 it was released in response to the great financial crisis when we decided it's grand we can just print money let the banks do what they want let them make all the money and then blow up the whole world and we just print money and bail them all out what that does is it stole all your money it stole all my money that sat in my bank account and that's what Bitcoin was created for to give you sovereignty to give you freedom and to give you control of your own finances so again as usual my message is very simple study bitcoin i won't even say buy bitcoin i'll just say study bitcoin and if you need help to study it or you need help to understand it check out bitcoin with Dini. with Dini. check out our consulting uh, where we can help you understand bitcoin we can help you build your plan to retire early we've got a whole retire early club which teaches you everything i don't to go from mobile home to uh freedom and not worrying about what happens like i don't really care about what the european central bank do i don't care how much money they print because it won't affect me but it will affect everyone who hasn't discovered bitcoin and everyone who doesn't understand bitcoin and everyone who doesn't use bitcoin to protect their purchasing power and my mission is try and share that so if you like this content hit the share button copy the link put it into your whatsapp groups and uh, let's try and teach some people about bitcoin where am i going here there we are process print can i park in this one maybe i can all right boom guys for now i'll say dinny out have a super friday